What's up YouTube? It's your boy EV Escape back with another video and I've been trying to record this intro for like 45 minutes because I have the hiccups and they won't go away. So I'm just doing it, hiccups and everything. It seems like they're going away now and going to make me look like an idiot, but that's okay. Today is day number 33 of the 40 day video challenge. If you're not aware, I'm putting out a new video every single day for 40 days in a row. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Today, we got an absolute doozy of a video for you. This one has taken me so long to put together. It's probably been about a week in the making. I have got for you today a free-to-play quest guide. How to do all of the free-to-play quests in one go. It took, you know, if you follow this guide, it took me less than two hours to do all of the free-to-play quests in one go. Really awesome stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep in mind, this is not an in-depth guide. This just simply goes over who to talk to, what items to take, and what order to do it in. Really hope you guys enjoy it. Let's stop messing around. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, welcome to my guide on how to do all of the free-to-play quests in one go except for Dragon Slayer, because you need to complete the rest of the quest to even start Dragon Slayer. This is probably going to be a pretty lengthy video, and you'll notice that I'm going to be saying things quite quickly. This is to cut the time down. So keep in mind, this is not an in-depth quest guide at all. This is just to show the best order to get all of the quests done. If I'm going a little fast for you guys, be sure to pause the video and go over it again. So the only requirements for all of the free-to-play quests is to have 10 mining. And what I'll do now is put up a list of all of the items you require to complete all of the quests. Be sure to pause the video so you can purchase all of these before you start. So you want to start at the bank in Lumbridge Castle, withdraw your bucket of milk, pot of flour, egg, some coins, need more than 30, and 20 balls of wool unnoted. Head down the steps, speak to Duke Horatio on the second floor to start the Rune Mysteries quest. He will give you an air talisman. Head to the bottom floor and speak to the chef in the kitchen to start the cook's assistant quest, and then speak to him again to finish the quest. Head north to the sheep field and speak to Fred the farmer to start sheep shearer. Speak to him again to finish the quest. Then you're going to want to head to al Karid to speak to Hassan in the castle to start the Prince Ali rescue quest. On your way out of the castle, speak to Osman for the next step. Head back to Lumbridge and speak to Father Eric to start the Restless Ghost. Then you want to head to the Lumbridge Swamp to speak to Father Ernie to get the Ghost Speak amulet and equip it. Head back to Lumbridge, open the coffin, speak to the Ghost. Then head south from the coffin and speak to Abigail to start the Mislilin Mystery Quest. Now, I'm not going to go over how to finish the quest in this guide, otherwise it will go forever. You can just type in on Google, uh, Mislilin Mystery Guide, and it will come up on OS Wiki. Uh, an easy guide to follow on there. If you guys really don't understand it, just let me know. I'll make a separate video of a guide on how to finish the quest. Once you finish the Mistholin Mystery Quest, head to Draenor Village and speak to Morgan to start Vampire Slayer. Head to the bank and make your inventory have an air talisman, all four beads, a rope, yellow dye, pot of flour, bucket of water, ashes, three balls of wool, red berries, soft clay, white apron, coins, and a red berry pie. Now, make sure that you listen to the items I'm telling you to get out and don't look at my inventory because in some of the clips, I forget to take a few things. So I will write up on the screen and say out loud the things that you need to take. Don't look at the inventory on the screen. Once you have all that, head north and speak to Leela and make sure you go through all of the chat options. Then head to the closest house and speak to Ned. Get him to make you a wig. Then go and speak to Aggie to make you the skin paste. Once you have the skin paste, head over to the jail and speak with Lady Kelly about anything except Katrine. She'll give you the key that you can imprint on your soft clay. Then head to the Wizards Guild. Head to the top floor and speak to Wizard Mizgog to start the Imp Catcher quest. Speak to him again to finish it. Head down to the basement and search the altar to get the skull. 
run away from the skeleton and then speak to Cedrador and give him the air talisman. He'll give you a research package. Then head to Port Sarim and speak to Redbeard Frank. Travel over to Karamja and buy a Karamjan rum from the pub. Pick 10 bananas in the plantation and then speak to Luthus. He will give you a job. Fill the crate with bananas and then put the rum inside. Speak to Luthus again and he'll give you 30 coins. Then go speak to the customs officer and leave Karamja. Head inside the food store just to the left and make sure you're wearing your white apron and attempt to go through the back door. He will then offer you a job. You then go through and search the crate for the rum. Speak to Redbeard Frank and he will give you a chest key. Then head to Felidor and speak to the squire in the center of the White Knight's castle. You're then going to want to head to a bank, grab out your Eye of Newt, burnt meat and an onion. Keep in mind that a burnt chicken does not work. I found this out the hard way. Head to Rimmington and speak to Hetty to start the Witch's Potion quest. Kill a rat to get a rat's tail. Then speak to Hetty again and give her the ingredients. And then drink from the cauldron to finish the quest. Head to Varrock and go to a bank. You want to have cadaver berries, a weapon to kill the weapon master, one beer, a hundred coins, a bucket of water, a bronze bar, the skull from the wizard's tower, the chest key from Redbeard Frank, the research package from the wizard's tower, and the key print from Lady Kelly in your inventory. Head to Varrock Square and speak to Romeo to start Romeo and Juliet. Speak to the gypsy just left of Varrock Center to start Demon Slayer and make sure you write down the incantation that she tells you. Speak to Juliet and she will give you a message for Romeo. Head back to Romeo and give him the message. Head south from Varrock Center and speak to Charlie the Tramp to start the Shield of Arab quest. Now, I won't go into crazy detail about this quest. Once again, you can just look it up on OS Wiki, but you need to have a partner that does the quest with you. Uh, personally, I just used an alt account. Speak to Katrine inside the base and then head to the Blue Moon Inn to speak to Dr. Harlow. Give him a beer and he will give you a steak to kill Count Draenor. Go up the stairs in the Blue Moon Inn and use the chest key on the chest in the corner. You'll get a pirate's message. Read it. Trade your Shield of Arrow partner for the weapon store key and then head upstairs at the Phoenix Gang hideout. Kill the Weapon Master and grab the two Phoenix crossbows. Head to the Rune Shop and speak to Aubrey. Give him the research package and he will give you his notes. Head back to Katrine. She will initiate you into the Black Arm Gang. Head up the stairs at the hideout and search the cupboard to get the half of the shield. Head to the Varrock Museum and speak to the curator. He'll give you two certificate halves. Then trade with your partner to get the other half and make the full certificate. Go speak to Father Lawrence about Romeo and Juliet and then go to Varrock Palace to speak to King Rold and finish the Shield of Arab quest. Then go just left of King Rold and speak to Sir Prizen about Demon Slayer. Head to the top left corner and on the top floor of the castle, speak to Captain Rovin. He'll give you a silver light key. Speak to Reldo in the palace library about the Imkando dwarves. Then head over to the outside of the kitchen in the palace and use your bucket of water on the drain. Head down to the Varrock sewer and grab the second silver light key. And then head back to Varrock center and speak to the apothecary in the potion shop. He'll give you a cadaver potion. Head up to Juliet and give her the cadaver potion. And then head back to Varrock Center and speak to Romeo to finish Romeo and Juliet. After that, you want to head back to Alcarid and speak to Osmond. He will take your key print and then go back to Lumbridge. Use your skull on the coffin to finish the Restless Ghost. Head back to Draenor Village and go to the bank. You want to have a spade, the wig, a pink skirt, the skin paste, a hammer, garlic, the steak, rope, three beers, and some food for lower levels. Speak to Leela again and go through all of the chat options. Head over to the jail and speak to Joe. Feed him some frosty beverages and then tie up Lady Kelly. Head over and free Prince Ali. 
You can then head up to Draenor Manor and speak to Veronica to start Ernest the Chicken. Head inside Draenor Manor, head down to the basement and kill Count Draenor to finish Vampire Slayer. Now you can head back up the stairs and finish Ernest the Chicken. Once again, I don't want this video to go forever, so for an in-depth guide on Ernest the Chicken, just head to OS Wiki. Once you finish Ernest the Chicken, head back to Draenor Village Bank. You're going to want to grab 25 unnoted bones and the notes from Aubrey. Head down to the Wizard's Tower basement and speak to Cedridor to finish Rune Mysteries. Then head back upstairs and speak to Triborn to get the third Silverlight key. Head back to Draenor Bank and grab yourself a pickaxe, a red berry pie, a spade and two iron bars. Speak to Thurgo down south of Port Serim and give him a red berry pie and then speak to him again. Head back to Felidor and speak to the Squire again. Head up to Sir Vivian's room and search the cupboard for the portrait and then head to the other side of the castle to speak to Sir Amic Vaz to start the Black Knight's Fortress quest. Head over to the Felidor Garden, dig in this spot, either kill or run away from the gardener and then dig again to finish Pirate's Treasure. Head back down to Thurgo and give him the portrait. He'll tell you you need to get some blue right ore. Go into the cave east of his house, run past the ice warriors and mine a blue right ore. Head back to Thurgo and he'll make you the sword. Then take the sword to the squire to finish the knight's sword quest. And then head back to the bank and grab a cabbage, a bronze med, an iron chain, three goblin mail, an orange die, a blue die, six clay, four copper and two iron ore. Head north of Felidor to speak to Doric and start Doric's quest and then speak to him again to finish the quest. Head a little further north and speak to the Goblin General to start Goblin Diplomacy. Dye your Goblin Mail, one blue and one orange, and then speak to him a few more times to finish the quest. Head to the Black Knight's Fortress. You want to listen through the grate and then put the cabbage in the hole on top of the castle. If you guys need more in-depth guide, jump on OS Wiki once again, and then head back to Felidor to speak to Sir Amic Vaz and finish the Black Knight's Fortress. You now want to head back to Varrock, go to the bank, grab out the three Silverlight keys and some food for lower levels, speak to Sir Prizen to get Silverlight, and then head south of Varrock to the Wizard's Circle. Enter the Wizard's Circle, they will summon Delrith, Kill the demon and then speak the incantation the gypsy gave to you to finish Demon Slayer. Then head down to al Karid and speak to Hassan to finish Prince Ali Rescue. And there you have it. You've completed every single free-to-play quest except for Dragon Slayer in one go. And there you have it, guys. I just finished editing this video, and I'm actually surprised at how short it was. I thought it was going to be closer to like 30 minutes, but it's only like... 14 minutes which is pretty awesome i hope you guys really enjoyed that one like i said in the intro this has taken me about a week to put together and i almost didn't do it because the first time i recorded all of the quests the file the video file got corrupted so i had to go through and do all of the quests again that was very demotivating but i just went ahead i got it done i got it out for you guys uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget about the 40-day video challenge. we got seven days left, so make sure you click that subscribe button. And to all my subscribers at the moment, just want to say a huge thank you. It means so much. When I started this 40-day challenge, I thought by the end of it, I might have 50 subscribers, and we're already sitting at 450. Absolutely insane. I never expected this much support. Uh, I really, really appreciate all your comments and likes and the people that subscribe. You guys are awesome. So thank you very much for that. That being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Take it easy.